WKAR presents Quizbusters. Production of Quizbusters is made possible in part by Consumers Energy, building Michigan's future by supporting excellence in education. Consumers Energy counts on us. And by viewers like you. Today, the Hornets of Kearsley take on the Quakers of Eastern in the first round of our tournament. Now, here's the host of Quizbusters, Matt Ottinger. Thank you, Dan. Welcome, everybody, to Quizbusters. Glad to have you along with us. Uh, first round action continues. Two teams who qualified continuing on in our tournament. Let's meet them now. Starting, and Dan mispronounced a little bit. It's the Kersley Hornets. Let's meet them beginning with Jason Brownfield. And then we have Kent Hirschberger. The captain is Brad Feller and Adam LaFerrier. And the, the alternates are David Watling and Chris Schmidt. And the advisor is Mike Skidmore. I think we left one of those young men out, but we have David and Chris with us here today. Uh, the Quakers of Easton will be their opponents. They are Christina Quillen, Tom Slavinsky, David Repose is the captain, and Pat Sinacropi is uh, on the end there. Their uh, alternate is Rob Hill, and their advisor is Ryan Corpenning. And everybody knows how we do this. We'll start with the quick 10 players, 10 toss-up questions to get the points on the board and get things started. Good luck to all of you. Only the winner will advance in our tournament, as you well know. We begin the quick 10 with question one. What sport did Winston Churchill do? That is Brad Kersley. Soccer. Soccer's wrong. No, I'm sorry. Eastern, I'll read it for you. What, don't confer. What sport did Winston Churchill deride as a good walk wasted? Christina. Golf. Golf is right. Ten points. Next. Question two. New Orleans is the site of what postseason college football game? Brad Kersley. Sugar Bowl. Sugar Bowl. Got that ten points back. That's right. Question three. Michelangelo's fresco, The Last Judgment, is based on the work of what Italian writer? Jason Kersley. Dante. Dante is right. Question four. What railway innovation helped begin the cattle boom by making it possible to trans... Kent Kersley. Rail cars. No, I'm sorry. That's wrong. Uh, Eastern. I'll finish it for you. Uh, helped begin the cattle boom by making it possible to transport meat products safely over long distances. Christina. A refrigerated box car? A refrigerated car. The refrigerated was the key that I needed to that. That's right. Question five. What does a checkered flag during an auto race, uh, Jason Kersley? The end of the race. The end of the race. The winner, of course. That's right. Question six. What language was first written down in India around 150... Adam Kersley. Sanskrit. Sanskrit is right around 150 A.D. Question seven. According to the folk song Billy Boy, where has Billy Boy been? <laughs> Billy Boy, I'm sorry, a little late, Brad. Billy Boy has been to seek a wife. Question eight. The fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth of what religious wars occurred in the 13th... Brad Kersley. The Crusades. The Crusades is right, the 13th century. Question nine. The word apartheid is most closely associated with what country? Brad Kersley. South Africa. South Africa. Many people had that at the same moment. Question 10. Of what geographic, excuse me, of what larger body of water is the Bay of Fundy? Uh, Brad Kersley. Hudson Bay. Hudson Bay is wrong. No, I'm sorry. Eastern, I'll finish it. Of what larger body of water is the Bay of Fundy apart? Both bays are part of the Atlantic Ocean. That's what I wanted there. That's our quick 10. That's six, uh, eight out of 10. Nice job. As you can see, some very fast players as well as accurate. Eight out of 10. Well done on the quick 10. Now we ask the toss-ups to get to the bonus questions. The bonus questions are where the points add up. New toss-up for all players. It's a quote. Mechanics is the paradise of the mathematical sciences, unquote. Declared which celebrated Renaissance man in a passage for, that is Adam Kersley. Da Vinci. Da Vinci's the one. <laughs> Making it even easier, a passage from his own notebooks was the rest of the question. Kersley's in control. S the sun, or sun, let's just say sun is your bonus category. Brad, you'll give me answers. Louis XIV, for example, was called the sun king. You come up with these other sunny items. We'll use sun in all your answers, please. First, an ancient instrument for measuring time. Sundial. Sundial. Sundial, Sundial is right. Next. This astronomical phenomenon is capable of disrupting communications on Earth. Sunspot. 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 Sunspot is what I wanted. That's right. Final question. Arizona State University. 
Uh, Sun Devils. Sun Devils is right. 20 points there and a quick sweep. Good job. Pencils players. Pencils players for this new toss-up question. Compute the absolute value of the fourth root of 81 divided by the cube root of 125. That is Adam Kersley. 0.7. I'm sorry, that's the wrong answer. I'll clear that. Eastern, you've had some more time. Uh, Pat. 0 0.6. 0 0.6, three-fifths. That's right, yeah. Adam was right there, just, uh, just a little bit off. Eastern in control. David, you'll give me the answers. Uh, weights and measures, your bonus category. Most countries today use the SI, or the metric system of weights and measures. Given the following names of metric units, you tell me the quantity that they measure. The quantity that they measure. First, angstrom. A-N-G-S-T-R-O-M. Force. Not force. No, angstrom is a very, very, very tiny unit of length, distance. Just microscopic. Uh, but no points there. You'll stay at 30. We have a new toss-up for all players. You'll probably want to use your pencils, players. I'm going to ask you to arrange these four ancient figures in chronological order, starting with the earliest. Cleopatra, Euclid, Nebuchadnezzar, Hammurabi. That's David Eastern. Hammurabi, Nebuchadnezzar, Euclid, Cleopatra. Nicely done. That's right. New bonus category for Eastern, finish the sentence, is what I'll ask you to do in each case. First, a persistent idea or thought which an individual cannot get rid of, even though he recognizes it as irrational, is called an what? I need your answer. Obsession. An obsession, that's right. Next, the superior of a monastery is called an what? Abbott. Abbott is right. Ten points there for 20 now. The conditions under which American troops are authorized to use force are supposed to be detailed in a set of procedures called the rules of what? And I need your answer. Military law? Not military law. The rules of engagement is the last one. Rules of engagement. 20 points, though, in your category gives you 60. Gives us our first pop quiz, players, one-on-one -on -one action. Your letter combination is H-A-M. All correct answers begin with H-A-M. Jason from Kersley, Christina from Eastern. Get us started. A tool consisting of a solid head, Jason. Hammer. Nicely done. Very quick on that. That's right. Next. The American mystery writer who created the character Sam Spade for his novel, The Maltese Falcon. I'm sorry, Jason, you're late. Dashiell Hammett is the name. Dashiell Hammett. Final question. To interfere with the progress of something or... Jason. Hamper. To hamper by presenting obstacles. Kent now from Kersley. Tom from Eastern. The Secretary of the Treasury... Under, uh, Tom. Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton is right under George Washington. Next. The comedic actor who plays Bill Clinton, Al Gore... Tom. Hamill. Hamill is wrong. No, I'm sorry. I'll clear that. Kent, I'll read it for you. The comedic actor who plays Bill Clinton, Al Gore, Ted Koppel, and many other characters on Saturday Night Live. No? Daryl Hammond is his name. Daryl Hammond. Final question for Kent and for Tom. A species of sharks that... Kent? Hammerhead. Hammerhead sharks. Very quick on that buzzer. That's right. Brad from Kersley now. David from Eastern. The American jazz vibraphone musician who played with Benny Goodman and later became leader of his own band. Lionel Hampton is his name. Next. A wrestling hold in which... Brad's first. No, too much time, Brad. David, I'll read it for you. A wrestling hold in which the opponent's arm is twisted and bent behind his back. Half Nelson? Not half Nelson. No, a hammer lock. That's the H-A-M that we needed. Final question for our captains. A county in England... Who's Brad? Hampshire. Hampshire, Hampshire, whose name is included as part of the name of one of the 50 United States. Uh, Adam now Kersley and Pat Eastern. The tragedy first printed, oh, Pat. Hamlet. Hamlet is right. Nice anticipation there. First printed in 1603. Next. The musical performer of the early 1990s, whose hits included You Can't Touch This and uh, Pat. 
MC Hammer. MC Hammer, that's right, Hammer Time, who came to personify the excesses of the rap artists of the period. Final question. A rectangle of canvas or strong net suspended, Pat? Hammock. A hammock, that's right, good job. That's it for the pop quiz. Suspended from firm supports by ropes at each end, and we're at a 50-point game still. I think we've uh, pretty much split those right down the middle. Players, next time, uh, we're going to play for control of the audio bonus. That's right, i got to get my notes in order here. We're ready to do it. Here is your toss-up question for control. The Devil and Tom Walker, a short story by Washington Irving, is similar in theme to what better-known Tom Eastern. Um... No, okay, don't say anything, Tom. I'll finish it for Kersley. Uh, the Devil and Tom Walker, a short story by Washington Irving, is similar in theme to what better known Stephen Vincent uh, Adam? The Devil and Daniel Webster. That's the one. Stephen Vincent Benet. Let me get it out. <laughs> Couldn't get out the whole thing. Stephen Vincent Benet work, of course, the, Daniel, the Devil and Daniel Webster. If I slow down, I speak better. Kersley, you've got control of the audio category. You'll hear the audio first, then we'll ask you some questions. So, listen up. Here comes your audio clue today. Madam... Is your majesty willing to take the oath? I am willing. Will you solemnly promise and swear to govern the people of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, the Union of South Africa, Pakistan, and Ceylon? That was part of the coronation of Queen Elizabeth in 1953. Give me the first names of some other British royals first. The current heir to the throne is Prince Charles, followed in succession by his two sons. What are their first names? William, uh, William and Harry. William and Harry, or Henry, that's right for 10. Next, officially referred to as the Prince Consort, what is the first name of the husband of Queen Elizabeth II? Philip? Prince Philip? I think so, yeah. Have you heard of him? Prince Philip. Prince Philip, that's right. Next, finally, for 20. Queen Elizabeth II ascended to the throne following the death of her father. What was his first name? I don't need the number. I think it was Charles. I'm not sure. I think so. Charles? Not Charles. George. George VI was the answer. 20 points on a tough category. Good job. Back to the regular bonuses for control of this, players. What term indicates a trial having no legal consequence due to miss, that is Adam Kersley? Mistrial. Mistrial is the word I wanted, that's right. <laughs> Quick buzzers, good anticipation. So far it's been paying off for both sides. Uh, Kersley this time, Broadway is your bonus category. First question. This musical features a helicopter which lands on stage. Miss Saigon. Miss Saigon, he's familiar with that one. Next. A boat ride through an underground lake and a crashing chandelier were highlights of the production of this play. Phantom of the Opera. No problem there. Final question for 20. For many, the theatrical experience of the 1980s and maybe a lifetime was the Royal Shakespearean Company's eight-hour staging of this Dickens novel in 1981. Give me the two-word alliterative name of this play named for the main character. Alliterative. Because... Uh, Equal papers. I, no, I'm sorry. Good try. Nicholas Nickleby is the one. 20 points on your bonus, 210. And we've come to the end of the game. Right now, Kersley out in front, but I think just on the advantage of a couple of toss-up questions, they've done well with their bonuses. Eastern, you get the toss-ups, you get the bonuses, you're right back in this game. We're going to take a break now. All of our players can relax. I didn't warn you about this. You can relax right now. I'm just talking to the people at home and reminding you that our Quizbusters are playing for fun, for pride, and ultimately for prizes. We have some grand prizes at the end of our season, at the end of the school year. Dan Bayer will tell you all about them. Quizbusters is pleased to announce exciting 13th season prizes for our grand championship finalists. Our runner-up team will receive offers of up to five one-year textbook scholarships from the Student Bookstore. Students accepting these scholarships must enroll for classes at Michigan State University. Some other restrictions will apply. And for the 13th consecutive year, up to five students on our grand championship winning team will each receive offers of a one-year in-state full tuition scholarship to Michigan State. These terrific grand championship prizes are offered through the continued generosity and support of the provost, the student bookstore, and the office of admissions. 
And that's waiting for our teams at the end of the season. Of course, a long way to go until that point. In fact, you'd have to put together five wins to be our grand champion from this point on. Uh, doesn't actually sound like that much of a task. A five-game winning streak is, is fairly common. In this game, that'll mean our grand champion. Players, the second half of our game, same as the first, a pop quiz halfway through. The lightning round will end it. You're playing for control of the video bonus, and here is your 10-point toss-up question. Which electronic peripheral device for computers is used to read printed material or... Adam Kersley. Scanner. A scanner. Uh, not, or uh, transfer photos, yes. Adam, very quick on that buzzer. Uh, uh, printed material or to transfer photos. An optical, in parentheses, scanner. That's all I needed. Kersley, the video category for you. You'll take a look at the picture. We'll ask you some questions. Here comes your picture. Now you see that on your monitors. This is a view of the Western Wall in Jerusalem. What is the other common name for this wall? The Wailing Wall. The Wailing Wall, right. Next. The Western Wall is the only wall remaining from what structure? The Old Temple. Yeah. The Temple? The Temple, the Second Temple, but that's good for 10 points. And finally, for 20, what Muslim holy site now partially occupies this site? Is it the Rock of the Dome? The Dome of the Rock. The Dome of the Rock is right. 20 points. Good job. There's a sweep. That's a full 50 points when a team can do that. We've got a new toss-up now to get back to the regular bonuses. Examples of it include Morocco, Russian, Hungarian, Cordovan, Grained, Shami, Russet, Tan, Calf, Kid, David Eastern. Furs. No, I'm sorry, that's wrong. I'll clear that cursely. Uh, I'll, get, I'll start about in the middle here. Cordovan, Grained, Shami, Russet, Tan, Calf, Kid, and Patent. What do we call, uh, Jason? Leather. Leather. Patent leather, yes. <laughs> Getting more and more familiar as we worked our way down to patent leather. Kersley, your bonus category is feminism. First, it passed Congress, <laughs> four guys here. It passed Congress in the 1970s by a combined 438 to 31, but was never ratified by the required three quarters of the states. What was it called? The Equal Rights Amendment. The ERA, that is exactly right. So question two, what is the exact meaning of the acronym now, N-O-W. National Organization of Women, yes. Is it of or for? National Organization of Women, yes. National Organization of Women. We can accept that, can't we? we the, 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 it is for, but, but the, but the N-O-W was the part that we needed. That was the exact that we needed. So that's good for 10. Final question for 20. Name Betty Friedan's masterpiece. Yes. 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 Feminine Mystique. Feminine Mystique is right. 20 points. Another little titter goes up. The guys did quite well with the fe feminism questions. New toss-up now for everybody. This British dependency in the Atlantic Ocean is the world's northern... Brad Kersley. Bermuda. Right. Ten points. The world's northernmost group of coral islands. The, the capital is Hamilton. Africa bonus is what you have here. An African bonus. Question one. The people of Central Africa that are less than five feet in height are known as what? <laughs> Pygmies. They all whispering together. Absolutely right. Multiple choice for this next one. What river, along with its tributaries, forms an important water highway system through the rainforest? Limpopo, Congo, Nile, or Zambezi? The Congo. the Congo. Congo is right. Finally, name the mountain range located in the northwestern part of the continent. I need your answer. Carthaginians. No, the Atlas Mountains. Atlas Mountains. 20 points again on your bonus. That's been pretty consistent. <laughs> Solidly cranking out two out of three, two out of three, and a big, big lead right now. Eastern, a chance to get back in this, though, with the pop quiz. One-on-one -on -one action once again. Your letters, players, T-R-U. T-R-U begins all correct responses. Now, Jason from Kersley, Christina from Eastern. A wind instrument fashioned from a long... That's Jason. Trumpet. Trumpet is right. Long metal tube and usually having valves. Next. The artist and satirist who created the comic strip, Doonesbury. <laughs> Gary Trudeau created Doonesbury. Final question. In agreement with the facts. Jason. Truth. Truth is worked true. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's good for 10, either of those. Kent now from Kersley and Tom from Eastern. A pupil who stays away from school without permission. Tom. Truant. I'm sorry? Truant. Truant is right. That's right. Next. The very dark brown edible fungus grown in Europe and Kent. Truffle. A truffle and cherished as a delicacy. That's right. Finally. The 19th century abolitionist and feminist who was the first black woman to actively speak out against Tom. Truman. 
I'm sorry, not Truman. No, Kent, I'll finish it for you. The first black woman to actively speak out against slavery. I gave you Sojourner as a first name. Sojourner Truth is the answer. The captains now, Brad from Kersley, David from Eastern. Annie Card in a suit designated as having temporarily... Brad. Trump. The Trump, temporarily higher rank than the other suits. Next. The two-word term for the 1947 American Declaration that the United States... Uh, Brad. Truman Doctrine. The Truman Doctrine is right, would support free peoples resisting subjugation and so forth. Finally. The main stem of a tree. It, Brad. The trunk. The trunk. Nicely done, Brad. You're at 400. Adam from Kersley now. Pat from Eastern. A large, rigid piece of luggage used for... That's Adam. Trunk. Trunk again. That's right. We almost fooled you. They have the same word twice. Transporting or storing personal effects. Second one. A low bed mounted on small wheels that can be stowed away easily under a higher bed. Adam. A truss. Not a truss. No, Pat. Any idea? Guys might not have bro younger brothers or sisters. A trundle bed is what slides in under a regular bed. Final question for Adam and Pat. A temporary piece arranged between Adam. Truce. A truce. That's right for 10, and that's the pop quiz. <laughs> Next time we hear the fanfare, we're going to the lightning round. Right now, a new toss-up for all players. Identify the 1941 act that permitted the U.S. president to trans... That's Tom Eastern. Pearl Harbor. I'm sorry? The bombing of Pearl Harbor. No, I'm sorry. That's wrong. I'll clear that cursely. Identify the 1941 act that permitted the U.S. president to transfer weapons and supplies, Adam. The Lend-Lease Act. The Lend-Lease Act is right. Ten points. <laughs> you did what you had to do, Tom. But you got to get you got to get in fast on those, but unfortunately, that was a little too fast. Kersley, you've got the bonus category. It is Napoleon. Napoleon first. What region in North America did Napoleon sell to the United States? No, it's um, Louisiana. The Louisiana Purchase. Yeah. The, Louisiana Purchase. Yeah. the Louisiana Purchase. Louisiana. That's right. Next. What Russian city was destroyed by fire in 1812? St. Petersburg. Probably. Yeah. St. Petersburg. The other one. Moscow. Moscow was the one. Sorry about that. You got 10 on the first one, though. 440. <laughs> New toss-up players. During what century did all the following events uh, happen? During what century did the dodo become extinct? Shakespeare wrote Macbeth by Adam Kersley. The 17th century. 17th century is right. Shakespeare. Shakespeare, a pretty good reference there. The Santa Fe was founded in the first decade of the century. Kersley, uh, elements is your bonus category, but it's not what you're thinking. Oh, you're shaking your head, but it's not what you're thinking. The names of elements of the periodic table are contained in the words and expression here described. Identify the element contained in the term that I'm defining for you. First, a wrapping material for food. Tin foil. Tin. Tin foil. Well, I'm going to check with them. That's not the answer that I have on my sheet here, but... Yeah, we'll take that. I have aluminum, and they'll take 10 for that. Second, an early movie house. Nickelodeon? Yeah. yeah, Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon has nickel in it. That's right. Final question for 20. A district for songwriters. I need your answer. Platinum. Not platinum. Oh, not a bad guess, actually. It goes back to the 20s, I think. Tin Pan Alley is what it was called. 10 was what we wanted there. 20 points gives you 470. Of course, at this point, very little difference that it makes. You've been very, very strong in the second half. We're going to still play the last 60 seconds, guys, and I want you to do the best you can here. Uh, nothing but toss-up questions remain. Of course, we'll fire, at, fire them at you as fast as we can go here. Ten points when you're right. We take away ten when you're wrong. The 60-second timer is set. Let's see how we do with these. The lightning round starts now. What stimulant is found in tea, coffee, cocoa, Adam? Caffeine. Right. How many North American nations are landlocked? Brad. None. Right. Mowgli is the main character. Uh, uh, Jason. The Jungle Book. Right. In golf, what three-letter word is another name for the... Uh, Adam. R. Wrong. What parlor game imported from China uses dozens... Jason. Mahjong. Right. What British prime minister tried to appease... Tom. Churchill. Wrong. In... Clear that. Next question. In music, what is the five-letter term for the speed at which a composition... Pat. Tempo. Right. In what state would you find the Los Alamos Scientific Library... Adam. New Mexico. Right. Who wrote For Whom the Bell Tolls? Brad. Hemingway. Right. What metric unit of weight is roughly equivalent to 2.2 pounds? Brad. Right. What city's nicknames include the second city, the city of broad shoulders and... Jason. Lewis. Wrong. What is the term used to describe the first four books of the New Testament? Brad. Cron. Wrong. What is the capital of Louisiana? 
Uh, Christina. Baton Rouge. Right. From the French to enter, what do we call the main course of a meal? Adam. Wrong. You go down to 10, you stay at 500. Most impressive. Congratulations, you've won. And that's about as many as I've gotten through in 60 seconds. In golf, what three-letter word is another name for the flag stick, the pin? Uh, British Prime Minister tried to appease Hitler in the 1930s. Chamberlain, the first four books of the New Testament are the Gospels from the French to enter entree. Entree, the word that we wanted. Uh, Eastern, I'm sorry, this did not work out well for you at all. Those guys were so fast on the buzzers, they locked you out of having any chance at those bonus questions. I'm sure you're a fine, fine team, and the best of luck to you in future competitions. Let's hear it for the Quakers here of Eastern. <laughs> Tough going today, but by no means let us uh, discount the accomplishment here. 500, a most impressive score, especially in tournament play. So congratulations to you, Kersley. We will see you back here in the field of 16 in just a few weeks' time. Congratulations. That's our game for today. Thank you for watching. Join us every week at this time for Quiz Busters. Join us on the web at WKAR.org. I'm Matt Ottinger. Enjoy. Production of Quiz Busters is made possible in part by Consumers Energy, building Michigan's future by supporting excellence in education. Consumers Energy, count on us. And by viewers like you. Book scholarship awards for Quiz Busters are provided by SBS, the student bookstore, located at 421 East Grand River Avenue in East Lansing. For more information about Quiz Busters or any of WKAR's locally produced series or specials, visit our website at wkar.org.